global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Though the battle in River State seems to be over, but right now from the fillers coming in, it seems that it's over on the surface, but on the ground, a lot is going on. And for Barra, if he plays around with it, may likely lose the battle because right now, um, the 27 or the 25 lawmakers, that's WK pro lawmakers led by Martin Aumawole, are doing a lot of things on the ground, which a particular group in the name civil society in the name society for open justice in nigeria has alleged a clandestine move by this group of lawmakers we're going to give you a few details of what is going on and what nigerians have to say about it according to the news the civil society group society for open justice in nigeria has alleged a clandestine move by a faction of the river state house of assembly to obtain an interim injunction by a river state high court restraining the pro wiki speaker of the state house of assembly martin amawale and 24 others lawmakers from parading themselves as legislatures in a statement signed by its president olayede kadiri the group stated that the former members of the river state house of assembly led by martin amawale had devised extra legal means to obtain the river state high court ruling the martin amawale led faction of the river state house of assembly has elected to throw cautions into the wind we have it on good authority at of their effort towards turning the law on its head through extrajudicial means. This indeed portends grave danger for democracy in River State and Nigeria. The group of former lawmakers who, with the backing of their same forces in Abuja have made overture to the justices of the appeal court to obtain the ruling of the River State High Court restraining the 25 defendants from meeting stroke sitting at the auditorium of the House of Assembly quarters located at off Abar Road, Port Harcourt, or any other place whatsoever to purport to carry out the legislative business of the River State House of Assembly. The group alleged that hefty sums of money had been earmarked for the project to get a favorable ruling from the appeal court. These former lawmakers have made it clear that what money cannot do, more money can do. They have bragged about control of the judiciary by their patron in Abuja and that the ruling of the River State High Court will be upturned. The attempt at compromising the justices of the appeal court is a coup on democracy. Those whose actions and inactions have contributed to the political impasse in River State are enemies of democracy. If this abnormally is allowed in River State, it can happen in any state in the country. The implication would be the end of democracy or any semblance of democracy in Nigeria. The group also warned the 25 former lawmakers to desist from political blackmail and other acts that have disrupted governance in the state. The group of 25 former lawmakers must realize that the actions in the past year have been embarrassing and made River State a laughing stock. They have elected to dance to the details of their patron and pledge their loyalty to him rather than the people of River State. Their actions also beg the question of what their primary motive is. To serve the people of River State or to serve a master who has vowed not to continue to deprive the people of River State the dividend of democracy. The Society for Open Justice in Nigeria is alarmed at such tendencies by a group elected by the people but whose body and soul have been said to be to the devil in exchange to for a plate of porridge. A group for that call on the justices of the appeal court to resist the overture to compromise and give a ruling in favor of the 25 lawmakers. The Society for Open Justice is calling in the Honorable Justice of the Appeal Court to resist all the overture by some vested interest in the River State debacle. We know the tremendous pressure from different quarters to obstruct justice. Their paymasters have boasted that he controls the judiciary which remain an affront to our sensibility as a people and a country. He has openly attacked the reputation of the judiciary in the country. Yes, oh, sorry. we are confident that the Honorable Justices of the Appeal Court will resist their overture and stand on the side of equity, justice and fairness. Nigeria is not a banana republic where individuals ascribe to themselves the power to violate the rights and privileges of the people. 
it would be recalled that there had been a running battle to controlling the River State House of Assembly with 25 former lawmakers loyal to the former governor of the state. They come from the People's Democratic Party to the All Progressive Congress. This move opened a litany of legislation. Justice C. N. Wari of River State High Court in Harcourt issued an interlocutory injunction barring Speaker Martin Amahole and associated lawmakers from further sitting and parading themselves as members of the State House of Assembly pending the hearing and determination of the substantive suit. Mm, this is uh, very serious, I must say. Now, yesterday, if you had been watching our videos, you will see that uh, uh, the governor of the state, when editors um, met the guilt of editors in Nigeria, have uh, a press conference with him. He took our time to talk about the move by detractors. Though he didn't mention them, but already most Nigerians know who these detractors are, what they were doing all within their power to ensure that they frustrate anything like development in River State. You know, a move which possibly they want to use against him in the nearest election, asking people what has he done and all of that. But we've been seeing how much he has put. He mentioned a lot of cases where they were trying to psych people up to fight against him to make a joke of whatever he's trying to do. Latest was the economic summit that was held in River State. A lot of political stakeholders and, you know, captain of industry, giants in different fields were invited to speak. But then he said most of them were called upon not to go there uh, or not to come to River State and, you know, give, give him the required support. However, I, th I think being a politician that uh, Fubara is, he should wake up, he should not pretend as if he doesn't know that there is an underground fire going on. Wiki is a lion and he had always said it that he, when he wants to fight you, you may win, but he won't give you rest. And I think that's what he's trying to do. Don't forget that even as we are talking, uh, they, they, as a group here trying to reach out, his wife is already there. We have other people who may be loyal to him. So you've got uh, with Fubara need to boggle his seat bell uh, very seriously and get ready for the ride because it's going to be on a very rough road, I tell you. Now, this is the truth of this matter or conclusion of this matter. If Fubara pretend not to know that something is going on underneath and does not wake up to do his own part, do not apply required strategy and those guys come back and start working as legislature automatically Fubara within the next two few months will be impeached for another election to take place and if that happens it therefore means that the future is very very bleak for River State because uh, Wike will do everything in his power to make sure that he brings in somebody who will be accountable to him. But and but you know that that's really against democracy. If we must say uh, the truth. All must be uh, they must be a very very serious move to make sure that such doesn't happen. Global happenings today.